Are we live? Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of At My Tasty Table, also known as Tasty Thursday. It's going to take some time for it to catch on, but it will because clearly it is not Thursday. And when I signed up myself for a day, to a day, I just realized how much of a ridiculous idea that was. Anyway, uh, welcome to another episode of At My Tasty Table. We are going to do uh, a beautiful meal, mostly from my new book because it's coming out in a few days. We're gonna talk all things Italian. We are gonna chat. We're gonna have a great time, great food. We've got bartender of all bartenders on drinks, the one and only godfather to the stars, Uncle Mike. Bartender the bartender. Fresh off the plate from Chicago. He's literally just walked in from a work trip to Chicago. Um, and I was a little worried he wasn't gonna make it, but that's neither here or there. We made it, we're excited. <laughs> we made it, we're excited. Joe is gonna make sure he puts all the links to what I'm gonna be talking about in the description of this video and also put them in the top of the comments. Hold on, hold on. I got it in the top description, the but that second request might be impossible. I can put one link in the Joe, top with comments. Joe, Just do the pre book. You got, you got it, you got it. Sorry. Um, with what? you, Joe, there's one thing I know. There's nothing that's impossible. Uh, just put the pre-order link to the book because the book, I'm now going to be talking about the fact that if you pre-order it, not like it's weeks in advance or months in advance, you're going to get it in a couple days. So, which is very exciting, but pre-ordering now up until the day it releases or the day before, I believe, gives you the opportunity to receive an extra packet of recipes, exclusive recipes, ricotta meatballs, manicotti, you have a beautiful fish dish in there, just like extra content along with the book. And I want you to take advantage of that. So when you pre-order your book, you are gonna fill out the form that is on my Instagram in a highlight called my new book. Make sure you fill out the form. The form is so easy. I'll try and get Joe the link so he can put the link to the form in the description as well. Um, it's just your information, your email and confirmation number. That's all it is. And then you get access to a packet of exclusive additional recipes. And I want you to get those. And you only get them if you pre-order the book. So that is that. What are we making today? We're going to make an Italian sweet and sour chicken, pollo agrodolce, which is so good. Like lots of very Sicilian um, influence because if you know anything about Sicilian food, they love that sweet and sour. Think caponata, but in a sort of a braised chicken dish, which is really delicious. Then we're going to veer off to the coast and we are going to make a spaghetti alla rano ish because it's definitely ish considering it's my version, not authentic theirs, but it is so delicious. If you know anything about Italian cooking, then you know about this recipe. It was made famous by a restaurant in uh, Nerano called Lo Scoglio. Literally so famous. The recipe has taken off. Stanley Tucci has made a version of this. Everyone I know has made a version of this. And I felt like I couldn't not put it in the book because the book is not only a collection of recipes that are really special to me. Sorry, I wanted to make sure that the oven is off. The oven is on. But it's also a collection of recipes that uh, I was inspired to add here so that you can be transported to that time and place as well. So, Uncle Mike's gonna make a cocktail. He'll talk to you about a cocktail. I'm gonna talk to uh, Mr. Joe about what I'm smelling. It's been a little too much gas, but it could be nothing. Okay, and I'm gonna get this to Mike, but Mike, could you do me a favor? And on the on your left, could you just move the bottle of limoncello? Could I move the bottle of limoncello? Yeah, if you look, look at the uh, monitor there, the bottles and the, and the toothpicks are just a little you say bit. You move the limoncello, Uncle Mike way. says. Uncle Mike says, wait, oh, oh. Where are we at? Uncle Mike says no yeah, problem. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. All right. So Let me check I'm on going to make. Here. You want me to jump into it? Yeah, you can jump into all it. Right, I can cool. explain what you're making. The reason why he's making a limoncello based recipe, you can explain this because there's a my nonna's limoncello recipe in the book. In the book, yes. So uh, I wanted to make something a little special. Um, it's 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 just simple because again, I just got off a flight, so I want to make something nice and easy for everybody that you can relax to and have a little glass and a little sip, sip uh, slow sipper. Um, this is going to be a blueberry limoncello martini. I know my story on Instagram today in the middle of the bustling city when I was walking and talking, whatever you're looking at me in the middle of the street, um, I said raspberry, but it was whatever berry you can pretty much find. So I prefer the fresher the better. I got some beautiful blueberries over here. Um, you know, uh, there's a place near us not too far called Hamilton, and they're the blueberry capital of the world. So we want to make sure, um, you know, I don't know if I can, there we go. 
They, these are beautiful blueberries. There's a couple different ver, uh, varietals, I guess you can call them, of blueberry. Um, some of them are sweet, some of them are tart. These are sweet, amazing. They're gonna make a great, great um, uh, martini. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna start off by muddling. So uh, actually I'll go through the ingredients. So you wanna do, it's gonna be vodka, uh, limoncello, um, and then usually sometimes people put coin trial, I'm not gonna put coin trial on this one. Um, I'm gonna do uh, also some, I'm gonna muddle the uh, blueberries, I'm gonna squeeze a lemon, shake, and just pour it in the glass. Very simple, very easy, very quick. So uh, nothing too intense tonight. We're gonna keep it nice and easy because it's Friday night. And uh, what do you do on Friday night? You go on, you go on, uh, you go on, you watch us live. That's what you do. That's what, that's what we do. So uh, to get to the muddling, I, I put it in a, in a clear glass so you can see it, right? You want to make sure you can see it. I'm going to squeeze the lemon inside of there. I know I have a beautiful lemon squeezer over here that I'm not using right now. And, uh, you know, I should have used it, but it's okay. If you can see in the glass, I don't know if you can see it, but the amount of lemon juice coming out of this is great. Because if you pop that one lemon on the thing there out of the way, then we'll get a clear shot. What's that? That, this one? that one there. Yep. The one that's on the, on the table. No. In the bowl, hold on, I mean. Hold on, don't move, don't move. Oh. We got our expert. Oh. There. Oh, look at this. Laura, you are the ultimate styler. Let me tell you, you I see Laura styling. It is insane. It's insane. Very, insane. Uh, what is it? Neurotic. Yeah. <laughs> very neurotic. Listen, it works. So I'm going to put a little bit of limoncello in here just to get a base in there, just to kind of muddle it with. with I like that you're using lemoncello because it also omits the idea of having to use a simple syrup because yeah. limoncello is sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. And it's great because I love I love something that's that's not too sweet, but also you can sweeten it with the ingredients instead of adding sweetener. I don't like adding sweetener to things. Um, so I'm muddling now. I don't know if you can see inside the cup here. Oh, there we go. I'm getting nice and close. See, the muddle is just you you push in and twist against the bottom as good as good as you can. Now it's it's not going to have a crazy blue flavor. It's going to be more purplish just because it's it's fresh blueberries, right? We're not putting any artificial ingredients, any artificial, you know, coloring in here, nothing, right? So if you see now in here. There's a beautiful like little little slurry. I'm gonna get it nice and there we go, little slurry there for you. So it's it's consistency of like a like a slurry. So what, what you want to do with that once you get it in there like that is um we're gonna we're gonna fill up our our shaker here with some ice, preferably ice that wasn't wasn't in big chunks, but it's okay. We're we're living. Um, so we're gonna do our shot of there we go shot of uh, vodka, right? Because we, we don't want to put too much vodka because we don't want Laura getting those hot veins. Or do we? Do we don't? Because Laura has to work all weekend. I have six oh. videos to shoot, so I okay. can I cannot take it easy. Well, I'm going to do two shots and you're going to make two drinks out of it. So two, mm -hmm. two drinks, you just hope that when you pour it, you know, everybody gets a fair share. If I not, do think people have this idea that, like, I like to get hot veins often. Like, I, the no. only time you see me have a cocktail is Tuesday, Thursday. Laura really only drinks some Tuesday Thursday. Yeah, that's the truth. And uh, just so you know, well, like, that's her thing. I like an Aperol. Like, in the summer, we do do, like, lots of Aperol spritzes and peaches and wine. Like, that. But that is not, I don't know. To me, it's that, that's the kind of thing, like, you sip on and you relax. And it's just, like, the peak happiness of summer. Am I right, babe? It's not the kind of drink that you drink to get hot veins. Whoa, whoa. You lost your top. I did. I did. It's okay. It's all right. It didn't get on the floor, so we're not going to have any stickies. Okay? Don't worry. So, it just goes faster. That's all. Yeah. So so we got that in the shaker there. Um, I'm going to give it a quick shake up. Okay? We're almost done. Promise. My coffee is decaf for anybody wondering that I've, if I've lost my mind. All right. <laughs> you didn't lose your mind. No, and it's also full because I okay. just can't. So we're going to do a pour. This might only make one drink. We'll see. Because it's a big glass. I, I, I didn't compensate correctly for Fill the glass. Fill it halfway, but, but add extra ice. You got it. Okay. All right, here we go. There we go. Get a little couple ice in there. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump the muddled. It's going to look a little bit different. All right, that's going to be... Laura, you're getting two shots, but it's okay. You're going to drink one drink tonight. We all know that, so it's fine. I'm probably going to drink a quarter, but it's fine. Because so the cello gets you, me... You, can you see this real closely? Wrecked. I wish you can see the top of this. It's, it's we beautiful. We got it. We got it all. All right. So the muddled blueberries on top. See how they just kind of fall in? They kind of fall into it. You put your you put a, you put a um, a slice of lemon on top. Squeeze the lemon around the top because it's gonna be nice and lemony. And then voila, nice and done. Now I'm gonna also break off a sprig of mint in there, just to kind of. You're going into mojito territory. Ah, uh, just a sprig. Just just for just for beautifulness, you know. So there we go. See the muddled blueberries on top? 
So when you get them, it's gonna be sweet blueberry. Um, the blueberry complements the limoncello nicely. Um, and there we go. So I'm gonna bring it over to Larita. She's gonna give it a try. Hopefully it's not too much, uh, too much uh, vodka. We'll see, it's only one, you know, two shots is fine. Um, we'll be good to go. So Larita. Okay. It should be, it should be okay. It should be good. If it's not, I can add something, change it a little bit. That's, that's the hard part when you have a chef you're, you're doing it for because you've got to make sure that you, it's, it's to her taste, you know? Well, I think, I don't know, most things, especially drinks, it's very much uh, personal preference. Yeah. I might have put a little bit too much vodka in there because I was anticipating too much vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes amazing, right? Yeah. Strong. Yeah, well, it's a martini, you know? Martinis are <laughs> typically strong. <laughs> There's the um, hot veins. Oh, by the way, I just want to interrupt for a second. Yanni, thank you for the super chat. Mm. Yanni oh, says, Yanni. I'm here. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Welcome, Yanni. Ah, we could not do this without Yanni in the house. Yeah, Yanni is the resident um, Greek, Greek guy in the audience. We love yes! Him. One of the things I'm so excited about is the book signings because I've never done anything like it, and I'm going to get to see so many faces. I'm going to put so many faces to a username, and I can't wait. It's very thrilling. But listen, we're gonna start cooking. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to multitask because I'm gonna have to have two things going at once. Um, actually I'm gonna start with this first. We're gonna make the agrodolce, which I actually made on Talk Shop Live. Um, and Talk Shop Live does have some autographed copies left. So if you can't make it to the meetup and you want a signed book plate to go into your book, you can order from there. You can order from another website that I have listed in the description. They're not personalized. And if you've already pre-ordered it, then it's fine because not all pre-orders are signed, just the ones through Talk Shop Live. And we only did a very small handful, very, very small, um, just to keep it as simple as possible. And um, so anyway, the recipe, the recipe, the link is in the description, but I know not many of you tuned in for that. It was a totally different audience, um, which, you know, the more the merrier. We love it. We love to reach as many people as possible. So I figured it was definitely a dish worth highlighting because I don't want it to be forgotten simply because um, it might not jump off the page. It is so unbelievably delicious and i'm not just saying that because i literally will say that about every single recipe um but it really does have so much flavor it makes this like really yummy sticky sweet and sour sauce that just goes so well with just about everything that you want to put it on uh, but particularly it's just really delicious spooned over some polenta oh my goodness that's what we did last time I'm getting my splatter screen because I, I ain't about that life. Even though it's going to splatter anyway, I'm going to do my best to not let it. I'm getting my splatter screen. Um, and then we'll get to as many questions and stuff as possible. This apron. I know I wore all of my own aprons in any photos where I'm in it and I'm wearing an apron. I'm wearing all of mine. And I know this apron is in here. Um, that was important to me. Or my Nana's wearing it. I can't remember. I know that was important to me. I tried to pull, like you see, I have that apron. I wear it all the time. Um, that was important to me because as much as I could pull from my own house and my own wardrobe and my own you know, linens and whatever I did because I wanted this book to just be like such a reflection of me and just how I normally cook. I'm not sure if it's, in, oh, you know why it's in in here? Because my, here it is, my Aunt Sexy was wearing it when she was helping us roll the gnocchi. You see that? Yeah. Aunt Sexy, I can't wait to see her this summer. She's gonna, she's the sweetest. She's the best. Okay, mm -hmm. my skillet is ready. I need to get my chicken in there. You need bone in, skin on chicken thighs. They're just going to get really beautifully bronzed and just develop such beautiful color. But you want to salt and pepper them really well because this is really the only chance you get to salt your chicken and really encrust it with really beautiful seasoning because there's nothing worse. There's a couple things that I feel like you can't come back from. Under seasoned meat and undercooked potatoes. Like if you give me a baked potato, 
that is undercooked, I don't know that you can fix that, no matter how, how good the flavor is. Oh, Lori, you got a, you got a scrub daddy over here. A scrub mommy. Scrub mommy. I, I saw a scrub daddy in the airport. Did I tell you? I, 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 yes. I did text you. I, yeah. I honestly would not be able to tell you what he looks like, so. He's a local guy, not too far away from here. I know, but I don't know what he looks like. So you could tell me he's a prince of Egypt, and I'd be like, great, because <laughs> I don't know what he looks like. I'm going to season this side, and I'm not going to really disturb that. I'm going to just let it really develop good color, and I want some of that chicken fat to render. Beautiful. Not too high of a heat, not too low of a heat. In the recipe, I call for uh, shallots, which you can definitely use, but I'm going to use a, a yellow onion because it's an allium and you need it to be in the onion family. I wouldn't use chives just because like texture wise wouldn't work here, but if you want to use like scallions and just chop them up really big, um, go for it. I, I particularly do love shallots because they lend a really sweet, mild onion flavor, but a yellow or red onion will do the job. So I'm really not too precious about it because I want to be able to get it on the table and I want the recipes to be really flexible um, so it doesn't, it won't hurt my feelings, whichever you use. Okay. I'm going to interrupt real quick. We have a couple shout outs to do here. Oh, We've yes. got Kaiju. I hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. We have Brenda. Thank you for the super what chat. Brenda left us a comment with her super chat. Hi, Laura, Joe, and Handsome Mike. Sending my love from Texas. Hi, Brenda. We love Brenda. Oh, thank you. And thank you, Brenda, for moderating tonight. Brenda's thank one of our you. moderators in thank the chat. You, thank you, Brenda. Thank um, you, Brenda. You're the best. We also have Laura. She's now a member of your channel for 16 months. What? And it's I hope also, you watched today's it's, video. We just uploaded a membership video, so if you're not a member, check it out. It's a We did a Valentine's Day video for what we did here in our house for Valentine's Day. And then we took you on a little trip to Atlantic City to check out a new water park there. And Laura left us a comment as well, and she said it's my birthday today, and I'm pumped to be here. I was gifted a wonderful cameo from the wonderful Laura. Aww. Happy birthday! Mike, wow. happy birthday? What's that? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday, birthday to birthday. you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, there's nobody happy, better happy than you. Woo! Happy birthday! Happy Oh, by the way, I brought you a special treat from Chicago. Oh, fresh yes. made, fresh made from the airport. Yeah, literally fresh made. If you if you're from Chicago, you know what it is. Gareth popcorn. Uh, I got their mix, nice and fresh. About four hours ago, pop. I'm gonna put, put it in here and give you a little sweet and salty snack for the uh, for the ride. So just so you all know, if you we got to do the sweet and salty mix together. This is what we call the pre dinner pre dinner warm up. A little bit of warm up for the uh, for the night. So I'm bumping it in here and it pops them over to the, to our lovely studio audience. And, uh, and Larita, yes. you can have some. Um, and I have one more, actually. One more. Super chat just came in from Sean. Five pounds. And that means if it's he's pounds. He's British. He's British. Oh, I love being, I love, I'm not British. Sean, I apologize if her British accent is not that actually, great. Actually, me British accent defeats He left everybody. us a comment as well. Sean, I'm sorry, I'm assuming Sean is he. Uh, hi, Laura. I noticed you don't have a Mississippi mud pie recipe. Would love to see your take on it. Okay, I don't know what it is, but I will indeed. Oh, thank you. Uh, look it up. I don't know how much to be mud pie. Oh. Definitely. Um. And um, we have a lot of comments to get to. So many comments here. Thank you, David. He said the Grammy goes to me. I love being recognized for my beautiful talents. Okay. But before we get into any of the questions. So there's a lot of comments coming through. Like, does one of the questions a good one came up? It said, "Does does a does buying a ticket to the uh, to the book signing count as a pre-order?" What? Going to a book signing and buying a ticket does that count as a pre-order? No, it does not. Okay, so because you don't get a confirmation number for the book, but you get a book. You get a book when you get there. Yes, right. yes. So, yes, so yes. I think you're getting the same thing, except that you're getting to meet Laura also. Yes. So if you go to a book signing, you buy the ticket, you also get. You don't get the extra. Well, no. What is so you get every, you get all the same things. No, you don't get the extra packet. Oh, you don't get the the insert. No. Okay. Because the incentive there is that we get to meet. Okay. Okay. Does that make so sense? So that's a good question. Even yeah. I didn't no, know good question. Answer. Good, good question. Listen, Marita, when is your thing on this week? On this week is Thursday, coming up. Um, 
The 28th, I'll be in Columbus Circle. The 29th, I'll be in Shore Hills, North Jersey. Okay, so I might be able to make the one on Thursday with you. Okay, good, good, yeah. good. You and Joe are going to meet th there. Okay. Starts at 6, and then the 2nd will be in King of Prussia. Are you coming to that? What is it? The 2nd on Saturday. Oh, yeah. And then we are going to be in Maryland. Don't forget, Deborah's going to come in Maryland. Maryland? On Sunday. Okay. okay, and then before we get into it and we get into some more comments, I do have a very important debate that I need to settle here right now. Oh, boy. And that Wait, is... Can I flip the chicken, please? Speaking of chicken... Do you wash your chicken oh, or do you God. not wash it? Why Let's settle this, this now. Right now. Just comment, wash if you do, and don't wash if you don't. We need to know the answer, and we need to so, know it now. I had this debate on TikTok. Ooh, this is really good, by the way. It's good. I mean, wow. it'll knock you off your feet, but it's good. I'm mm. going to flip the chicken. You want to get close? Yep. I had this debate ready. on TikTok, and it was an overwhelming amount of wash your meat. Um, now, I do think, oh, wow, that's beautiful. I do think that you you need to not you need to understand I'm not coming from a standpoint of uh, what the CDC, the CAA, the FBI, CNN. Now you sound like Papa Sal. That's Papa Sal speaking right there. What I'm saying is I'm not talking about it from a health perspective. Or the law. Or the law. I'm talking about it from a personal perspective. Do you wash for me? I don't trust anybody. I don't know if the butcher was like wrapping the chicken. And here you go, Laura. I don't, I don't trust you. Connie, we'll see you in Shore Hills. Connie, make sure I don't you say trust hi. you. So I wash. Oh, and by the way, we have a, uh, a new member. New member shout out. We have um, Ronnie Boy 82. New woo, member, woo. welcome to Tier 2. Woo, Ronnie, woo. Boy. Ronnie Boy. Ronnie Boy. Welcome. Welcome. So anyway, anyway, I don't watch, so don't judge me. Mike does not watch. We've had these conversations. I, I definitely questioned our friendship. It's looking like 50-50. It's looking like 50-50. Here's the thing, right? And here, and you, I, we know your, we know your personal preference. Mine is as well. But I worked in a restaurant as a sous chef, and the, F, the FDA came in or whatever this restaurant. The FBI rated it. Yeah, the FBI rated it as Papa Salad today, and they trained us on food safety, and they said that you're not killing germs. You're not, you know. You're, there's, you're not doing anything to remove the germs from the chicken no. or anything like that. You just you just properly trim it, and that's more sanitary. So, Let's be honest. You don't have to wash your car either, but some people do. Yeah, okay. so it, it's preference. fine. You know, like it, it's a personal preference. Nobody's wrong. Um, you don't have I don't know why we're having a debate paper. right now about it, but it's fine. It's <laughs> personal preference. It's just I don't trust that it's clean. It's got stuff on it. And again, it's very split. It's very 50-50. I mean, even in this chat, it's very 50-50. Okay, Ab says, I opened a new bag of frozen wings, and a few of them had little feathers that got missed. Now, I'm that is you. what Laura's argument was the other day, was that when the feathers are still in there, they don't get rinsed off when they rinse them. Okay. And that's why she washes them. So someone said that I'm disgusting for, for wa not washing my meat. But I will tell you. Like you need to wash your meat. If you go to a restaurant that was properly trained in food safety, they don't wash their meat either. So um, good luck. I wish you luck. So if you don't, I just would, just don't go out to eat, to eat anymore. Just make all of Laura's recipes. Wash your chicken I'm first. I'm team wash your meat. Oh, it's definitely like I would trust you because I know you don't have dirtiness. Yeah, I, I, know? I'm very, very super expert. But I don't trust anybody else. All right. Also, I'm thinly slicing some small to medium zucchini. If you have the really big zucchini, then you might only need a couple, but you're going to want to seed them out. Because when they're really big, they're full of water, and they're kind of gross. I hate to break it to you, but they like nothing but water and not really a lot of flavor, and I want flavor. So you want to really look for small zucchini. If you can, um, that's really going to be the best bank for your buck as well. Okay. Mary Riddy says, Mike, you are the bomb. Bomb. A bomb. The bomb father of the bomb father. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, where'd she go? She's gone. She is gone. We'll go back to Mike then. Is anybody having a drink with us tonight? Or if, if you're having a drink with us tonight, you're relaxing on your couch, you're sitting there just thinking, why is Uncle Mike talking so much? Or, you know, what's Laura doing over there with that chicken flipping right now? Um, you know, give us a shout out. What, what, what are you drinking tonight? What you eating for dinner? What's cool out there? What's happening on a Friday night? Because you know what? TGIF. Long flight today. So you know what? I want to hear about all your cozy little time tonight you're having on your couch. So let's, let's hear it. What, what are you doing tonight? You're going to... You having a little drink? You have, what do you have for dinner? 
Oh, oh, another one of Laura's arguments okay. earlier was you don't know if someone sneezed, and they Should actually just said that in the comments. You don't know if they sneezed in their mitts or if they scratched something before they went and touched your meat. By the way, another shout out here from Dave. Thank you, Dave, Joseph, for I'm the going super in. chat. Okay, you're going into the same pan? You got it. Dave says, hi, Laura, Joe, Mike. I will see you in Manhattan. Oh. Laura says, wash your chicken. I think he meant to say, Laura says, Laura says, wash your chicken, wash your chicken. Kaiju's having a peach white claw, Laura. I think there might be a Laura. typo there. What? Kaiju is having a peach white claw. Oh, yeah, my Love favorite. white claws. And Dinner Priscilla Priscilla said she's drinking water on the rocks, which is I actually I love it. A Don't drink. go to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant because he'll charge you for those rocks. $5. <laughs> $5. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. I'll just um, never forget it. So stuffed pizza night for us. Melissa Nunez. Melissa, what kind of stuffed pizza are you talking about? Because I'm a cheesesteak stuffed pizza kind of guy, just saying. But like, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Melissa. Pizza. I'm going to need more details. I know. I want to know what kind of stuff pizza. You can drop that on us and not tell us I want happened. every detail of what that is. Yeah. Crown peach and passion fruit juice. Oh, you know what, Melissa? I, you, you got me? I am very, very, I'm very catholic. Oh! It's Friday. We should have made some fish tonight. You know, I, I, I was traveling all week. I totally I got off the plane. forgot. I totally lost track. Yep, boss, lady, boss lady says that she's having Alfredo and Ristelli's chicken nuggets. I Isn't totally Ristelli's like right down the road? Isn't that where they they're? They have like a... It's okay. They, they're all over now. You know what? I'll go to confession. God will forgive us. It's okay. The Godfather's over here. Listen, things happen. Long week. Mike? Long week. It's, you know, it's... <laughs> that one over there. Yeah. Um, if you're Greek, it's not your Lent yet. I, yeah. I get it. But it's, it's it, it is mine. Yet. Get it right. Girl. Uh, Mike? It's going to be a big problem yeah. for y'all. You got to handle that. You have different Lents. You got to tell them. Mike looks like he works in their private dungeon. What? <laughs> Actually, Joe built me the private dungeon, so what is that? Oh, mean? oh, oh. The Iger vibes are deep. Get some freaking light on Mike. No, we do that on purpose. Listen. No, it's, it's like watch what Hold happens on. live. It's this, low, this is what we do. Low and uh, slow let me here. see. We, we do slow. this on purpose for Mike. We put these special lights up in the ceiling for him, so he looks like he's in the dungeon. The blue. Okay. If I look directly at him, I kind of have a seizure, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the red. I can't use red. It's I can't against use the red rules. Or blue. I don't know why. All right. I'm really upset about this, thing, this chicken. <laughs> I'm, I'm new potent media. Oh my god, I'm dying right now. Okay, listen. <laughs> Before I choke on oh, my on my popcorn, I gotta start on. This is sautéing doing really beautiful things. I gotta start on my zucchini because the zucchini does take a solid like uh, 25, 30 minutes to cook down. And Laura, I hate to interrupt, but Adam, when you have a minute, I'm getting some alcohol on my keyboard, so I'm gonna need a napkin, and I can't get out of here. To get um, one. Whenever you have a chance, no rush. The you recipe calls for about a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I don't want that. I don't want you to fear that. Okay, I don't. For a multitude of reasons, I'm only I'm mixing the two because this is super strong. Anyway, I don't want you to fear that because first of all, it feeds four people at least. Okay. Second of all, that is your sauce. That is your sauce. Like the combination, like the magic that happens between. The olive oil that's in, like scented or infused with garlic flavor, and the zucchini that cooks down to mush. The science of that together makes for the most creamy, delicious emulsion for your pasta that you cannot understand. You we will want to. We eat. can't understand. Uh, and it's what makes this so unbelievably good. It's incredible. I'm not over the chicken, Mike. Mm, no I feel bad. guilty. It's okay. It's okay. And by the way, yes, and I did. And I ate I did, wings today. Oh. I, I didn't eat wings, but, you know, um, I, I did get whatever I could eat really fast in the airport lounge because I got lounge now. I had some wings from Cinder, and they were so good. Oh, I love me some roasted wings. They were so good. good. And yes, I did get a haircut, actually. Uh, I think it was, I forget. Yeah, I got that Guido, Guido fade over here, you know what I'm saying? Right, on fleek. <laughs> I'm just crushing some garlic, a couple cloves. I'm throwing that into the oil. And once that kind of infuses, that's it. Once that pills. starts to Anybody? sizzle, yes. then I Sizzle's will add yeah. the zucchini. Um, very exciting things. Very, very exciting. Our, our in studio audience is, is, is slurping down these uh, these limoncello martinis like they're. Uh, Krista Gomez, thank you for the for the super chat. She says, "I'll never stop with metal music suggestions." LOL. I don't know what that means. We need some elaboration, Krista. 
Mm. Um, Uncle Mike is blurry. Uh, well, I think it's just the color over there because he's in the. Yeah, I'm very blue. I'm 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 blue when I'm without you. Let's put it's it like that way. It's like a blues bar in the corner over there. What? That drink is making me lose eyesight in one eye. Oh, Lara, come on. I'm like my Aunt Gilda with a glass eye. <laughs> remember my Aunt Gilda with a glass eye? Oh, I remember. Yes, yes. Anyway, Are I'm going to see her, by the way. Oh, yeah, she it's, did. It's already Saturday um, in Perth, my Australia. I've been dead 34 years. Oh. Laura, we got, we got yeah, an Australia viewer, and it's Saturday over there. What? It's Saturday in Australia. People are watching us tomorrow. Oh, so it's not too bad. No. How is the future? How is the future? The you, future. Got, you get flying cars there? <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need we roads. We don't need no cars. No cars. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go to Instagram really quickly for questions, because there's a lot of questions. Um. <clears throat> Depressing. If the world ends tomorrow, what's your favorite meal? What's your last wow. meal? Wait, I'm not going to start with that. Wow. I'm going to go in a positive direction here. Um, um, my goodness gracious. <laughs> the popcorn <laughs> is in my throat. Little bro, you dying on me over there? The popcorn <laughs> is like really stuck up in there. You but know what I'm saying? But it's banging though, right? No, it's it's very good, but here. holy. <clears throat> yeah, it's banging. I love, I love me some popcorn. <clears throat> my gosh. What's the first thing you'll do when you go to Italy this year? Hug my mom, hug my family, eat my body weight in mozzarella, eat so much food. That I'm tuna, whatever that tuna with the rice is that Nona makes. It's in the book. Oh, God. I, I, guys, my buy the book for that recipe. My Seriously. Nona's tuna rice salad is, I don't know why it, like, I don't know what it is about it that is so good, but it just is. And it's always one of the very first things she makes for us. It's so delicious. I can't even describe it to you. Oh, it's not in that chapter. That's why. I'm like, where are they? I'm going to appetize That's one of my favorite meals. It's like the welcome meal when you get there. It's so good. She makes it's, it for us, and it just makes me so happy. I, like, literally, I, I can't get enough of it. It's also so good because you can make it in advance. This one. Can you see your monitor? Yeah. It's Let me bring it in? Here, so I'll bring good. it in. so good. Yep. That's the that's the welcome meal. This okay. on the table with marinated eggplant, mozzarella, fresh bread, all the things. That is getting ready. I'm gonna put my zucchini in, okay? My back pocket. In my back pocket. In my back pot. I don't want that to like I said, don't fear the oil, please. We're I think adults. I need some more ice. I'm running out of ice over here. I picked up a whole bag out there in the garage. Our in the freezer. Woo. Good job. There we go. Last one. I'm going to wash my hands really quick. It's a little sticky. Oh, oh the Mancello gets, uh, gets that, sticky. That you know onion got right in my nose, in my eyes. Who, who brought the ice down? Did you bring the ice down? Well, did you find a whole bag in the garage fridge? There's a brand new bag, right? I didn't leave it in the car? Okay. No, you put it in there. All right. If it ended up in the freezer, then it's not in my car. Okay, that's going. I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes to my peppers and onions. I love to freeze cherry tomatoes when they're in the peak of summer. When we can our tomatoes, I always get cherry tomatoes to add to my canned tomatoes, but I also buy them and freeze them whole. And they're amazing to make like a last minute sauce that you want it to taste like summer. This is what you do. Hey, this, already this tomatoes are my favorite when you do that. It's like, it's like the icing on top. It's like putting chocolate chips in your pancake, you know? Oh. I do love my tomato making weekend. I will say that. I do love it. So did I answer that question? I'm just going to eat a lot when I first get there. That's going to be... Uh, Actually, the technical answer, they said, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get there? And the answer is you're going to get off the plane. Get off the plane, get around a car. Oh, uh, yeah, that part. Mm. You know that one picture of me getting off the plane you took of me when I was waving on the way down? Mm -hmm. that, yeah. was like my, that was like my, my hinge uh, profile picture for like months. Like just me going like this and walking down. I was mm. like... Yeah, yeah, that was on Hinge, and that was funny because, you know, it's kind of like, uh, who took this photo? It's like the, the lunar landing? Like, who yeah, was there yeah. to take the picture when the... Weird, yeah. Who, who took and, the, and, and the picture? And it didn't really landing? work. Like, I, nobody really, like, it wasn't really a main picture. It wasn't good. It didn't, it didn't work well. All right, so somebody Wait, said, you can freeze them. What? I thought the oh, same thing when I found a freezer bag full of um, yeah. cherry tomatoes. I have many freezer bags. Uh, someone said, what is the recipe you are most proud of and excited about your new book um i don't know if i can pick a recipe but i would say in general in general the the theme of the book itself is the thing i'm most proud of because look if we're gonna talk 
let's talk things that sell, okay? We know from an analytical standpoint, number-wise, we know, and by we, I mean like the professionals I work with that do this day in and day out. We know that American Italian books sell. People love to read about chicken parm and fettuccine alfredo. They love to hear, to read about rice casserole. People love that. So going into a completely different direction where the food is more authentic, less heard about, and perhaps not as mainstream exciting was a gamble that, that my team took with me. And they took that gamble because they knew I was very passionate about it. They knew that this was the only Italian cookbook I was gonna write. At least if I was gonna write a first time Italian cookbook, it was gonna be this one. Um, I had absolutely no interest in writing or cooking anything that wasn't authentic Italian food, at least authentic to me. And that's what's really important for you to keep in mind here is that I'm not talking about what's authentic Italian to you. That could mean something totally different. But most importantly, what was authentic Italian to me? Because this book, although I want it to be in your hands and I want you to cook from it, I want you to love it. For me, the most important part of this book is that it lands into the hands of my family, my cousins, my daughter, my aunts, my uncles, that have eaten this food our whole lives and we never had a recipe to go off of it. Well, now we do. And all of those beautiful memories that go along with each recipe is all like in this one place. So that as years and years go on and some people might not be with us anymore and life goes in great crazy directions, we will at least all have this piece of history that's been in our family for decades and decades. Like when I say my Donna's limoncello recipe has been in her brain for the last, I don't know, 70 years, that's not an exaggeration. Getting it, getting her to like write it down and pass it to me was a big deal. She's never shared it with anybody else. She was thrilled to be able to share it with you. Um, and that's what I'm most proud of and most excited about in terms of like, this book in general so it's not a standard cookbook it's not like i said it's not filled with things that you've heard about a million times i'm certain popcorn i'm certain that some things you have and some things you haven't but rest assured that these recipes are so you know i don't do anything that is not delicious because i am the pickiest person on planet earth um and I'm very meticulous, and everyone in this room alone can tell you I am so meticulous when it comes to testing each recipe. I shoot them ahead of time. I test them multiple times. For this book, I had an independent tester test them after I tested them three times. And she kept saying to me, like, this seems like a waste of time because there's no edits to make. There's no feedback to give other than this food is delicious and each recipe works as written that to someone like me that's such a professionist means everything so know that these recipes that you are going to cook are going to come out good you don't want, just like Laura in the kitchen you don't I know you don't worry when you make one of my recipes about whether or not it comes out good I know you don't worry because they do because I take pride in making sure that they come out good for you so um very long answer, but we yeah. We have a, uh, a question. Um, so I guess we can say, like, we're, we're going to Italy in July, right? So mm -hmm. that's when we'll be there. Um, by the way, you got to go with Uncle Tony. Have you heard anything back in on that yet? What's yeah. that? No, I spoke to him this morning. FaceTimes me. My Uncle Tony and mine on a FaceTime at 730 in the morning. Hey, listen, they got that time zone issue. I yeah. have not had enough coffee in my bloodstream to deal with conversations from the Italians at 730 in the morning. I'm thinking, who did? Before I answered, I prepared myself for the worst. Someone said, it's gotta be. Why would you call me at 7 in the morning? What are you doing? I said, I'm in a nightclub. Can't you tell? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing at 7 30 in the morning? Yeah. I'm bored. Yeah. I'm Laura. I, I don't, like. Getting a ton of comments yeah. about Uncle Tony. I would love to do a live like this with Uncle Tony the, in Italy, but the problem is the internet is so, like, sketchy when we get there every time. It's always different. It's There's really always a not. different story. Sometimes, like, Vodafone is like, sorry, our service is disrupted in the, your area for the next three days. Or you and have like, certain what? people in your life or your family that shut off the Wi-Fi despite you. Yeah, we got that problem. We got a uh, super chat from David Wal Walber. 
Love that. He said, tell Laura Hong Kong Day from Instagram says hello. And don't worry, I have fish fry for all of us tonight. Haha. Ha. See you in Columbus Circle. Woo woo! We will see you in Columbus Circle, Dave. Here's what I heard about Columbus Circle. Do you guys want to hear about what I heard? Let's hear it. Do you want to hear about what I heard? And the amount of um the how I kept trying to think of the word. How this solidifies our relationship. My team told me yesterday that the Columbus Circle has not had this amount of RSVPs and tickets ball in years for any other author and they've had some big authors there hmm. i said well those people are not my people sorry right their supporters are not mine we are grassroots mine go deep mine yeah. will drive to new york city do you know what a feat that is laura you know i'm gonna commitment? i'm gonna go ahead and give you your favorite angle you ready oh god <laughs> <laughs> no. i'm dying right now that is a very major feat, and I'm very proud of you, honey. I know you worked hard. It does consume every waking minute of her life when she's working on a project like this. A lot of people don't realize how much work goes into it. It's an enormous amount of work, and she still makes time to do all the other things, the regular uploading, everything else. So I'm very proud of her. Thank and, you very um, much. I live with her, and, you know. I work hard. Hey, I'm listen. all one person. Like, I don't have a team. She does. I think people don't, people always realize, like, how, how many people are on your team? I was like, she has a team with like the publisher and all, but when it comes yeah. to the, the rest of the stuff, there's it's just her. Um, Mercedes, <laughs> yes, you can use something besides limoncello for the drink. What's you, that? Uh, Mercedes asked if I can use something besides limoncello. You definitely can. Any kind of like fruity type of liqu liqueur you can use for this. I got a drink, Mike. Thing. I got a drink I'm going to make. I'm going to shoot it first. So I can't say it. But Mike, you're going to make it for the next TT. Mm. It involves okay. passion fruit. It oh. involves passion fruit. Okay. Just trust and believe. I, I'm, I trust and believe. You All right, I'm going to add in here. Uh, be, before you do that, can you tell us what you just put in there? So I put in here chicken stock, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and honey. Okay? Okay. Oh, hold on. I need a little hot pepper flake. The recipe calls for a Fresno chili, or you can be like me and forget to grab it. You know? And if you do, a pinch of hot pepper flakes will work. Okay? Don't go back out. Gas is expensive. Gas is expensive, you know? Your sanity is even more valuable. I'm gonna add this in. Yeah. Whoa, look at that sizzle. Sizzle, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna Wait, put my nice chicken shot. back in. Um, try to not have your chicken, like the top of the skin, touch any of the liquid, because otherwise that skin gets really soggy. And I don't know about you, but I just, I'm not about my life, you know what I'm saying? Not I don't like it. anything soggy. <laughs> what is a smoking jacket? <laughs> what? Um, Omnipotent Media said, I feel like Mike should be wearing a smoking jacket or a suit only for these shows. <laughs> oh, Mike, next time you should show up in a tuxedo. <laughs> is, it like, is it like, what, what, what's his name from the Playboy Mansion where? Is it Hugh Hefner or whatever? A robe? Yeah. A robe, yeah, like a, I don't know what that is. You want to wear a robe? I think you should wear a robe. I mean, you know, maybe. I think that's a brilliant oven. idea. This goes into the oven. You can cook it top of the stove, but in the oven is really best. And it's preheated have, at 375. I don't have an oven shop It'll be in there like, here. I don't know. Those are some thick thighs. So thick they're thighs. Italian. Them chickens were Italian, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. There were some thick thighs. Instead of bok, they say, uh, buongiorno. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of a word. <laughs> buongiorno. I don't, buongiorno. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just say ciao. I don't know. Um... Anyway, I lost my train of thought. These smell so good. I really don't like this angle. Laura, I can see what you don't like about it. What? Okay, the, this, this shot that you see on the screen right now. It's just terrible. Okay, so Krista Gomez says, listen, I, I look my age on that camera, <laughs> but I have to have this angle. It's, got, you, it's the extra, we got five cameras My sister going. came down here when we were prepping and she was looking in the camera. She was like, this camera sees everything. It sees my whole face, and why is it wide? I was like, because like oh, that. I know. That's I like, like more. It adds, it's just like it stretches things out, me. right? It's it really fine. does. It absolutely. Yeah, 20 pounds. When people no, say it's on the, the camera, preview monitor, it does. But for everybody watching, it's it's real life so, for the most part. I, and I was like, well, yeah. And she was like, how do you do this? How do you take the judgment? I was like, well, you know, it's fine. I mean, ten times a day, people tell me that my nose ruins my face, but it's fine. Other than that, <laughs> bro, my nose is my face. All right. Thick thighs. Other than life. that, people literally say to me. You're so pretty straight on, don't turn your face. 
don't turn to your profile. It's this right here. You guys got to understand what I see is not real oh life. God, okay. So, so when I look at this and I see myself, I'm like, no way. It's not cool. Oh, anyway, we got a, a comment from Krista Gomez. Thank you for the super chat. She says, advice for someone with an eating disorder. And also, Melissa Nunez says, thick, th thick thighs save lives. They do. Thick thighs. They do. Let me tell you something. What's going to happen to me? Thick What's going to happen to me? Okay. Have you ever sitting down and you enjoy something and it falls? Your thighs, when they're together and they stick, you catch it. Whoa, I, mean, I, I did not mean to put that on myself. Wow. Holy cow, that I was bad. I can clap Never two ways. I clap up here and clap down there. I can't. <laughs> thick thighs save lives. I do not. Thick anyway, thighs I'm clapping. <laughs> at least you don't get told that your nose ruins your face. Do I know? People tell me every day on Instagram that my nose ruins how pretty my face is. Your nose And is they say... You're so pretty from Not. straight on, but don't turn to your profile because it ruins it. I'm like, well. Yeah, I'll fight them. Mm -hmm. I will fight them. Meanwhile, I'll stand there like. Nobody tells. No tips. Don't say that from the Godfather because I get emotional. I will. Godfather of all Godfathers are coming for you. I will. I have. Noted. Or less. Noted. Laura, your nose is your heritage. That makes beauty what it is. Someone okay. else says, uh, wait, we got a lot of people talking about your nose. Uh, someone else said, I have thunder thighs. That uh, was Yanni. Um, Gomez says, advice for somebody with an eating disorder. What's that? Krista Gomez says, advice for somebody with an eating disorder. Therapy. Tough one. Being serious. Yeah. I'm not trying, I'm not joking. I'm a firm believer. We have as professionals in here. Yeah. We have yeah. logical people in this room. And I believe. Which one are you referring to? I'm including to? myself. Every one of us could benefit from therapy one way or another. Oh, I, I believe have. that about everybody. <laughs> I'm not just saying about you or you or you. I mean, I'm including myself, right? I think being able to speak to a professional that can understand that, yep. that can understand you on that level is a different way of talking to someone that you love and that cares for you and that has your best interest of heart. I think speaking to a professional can save you um, in many ways. And it's, I think people underestimate the power of that. Well, I also say the one thing I learned is how to love yourself. You gotta love yourself. And it, also, and I fight with that every day. Trust me. Also, <laughs> we day. do sadly live, and I, you know, I think we're. You know, everyone's looking at your nose now, right? Comments, every single person. I mean, what do you want me to do? Here, Listen, let me get, let me get call, my, your hair call my dad. I don't tell you. Don't Wait, change Laura, turn your to the nose. side for us. I got a crooked lip from my mom. <laughs> Yo, I got. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Close. I have a crooked lips from my mom. Oh, that relax. You're beautiful. My You're perfect. Life. My nose is my nose is weird. Uh, hold on. Let's let's get let's get the mic G. Yes. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Yo, you got. Oh, you know what? Do we have anybody who in the in the in the room here who He's can remove it? Look oh, at him. He's, Mike, let's see the other. Like, let's I see. Cannot. Let's see the other I side. I cannot. It's on the other side. The mole's on the other side. Okay. So I have a, I have a, I think it's straight. I think. Right? Yeah, it's pretty straight. And then I do have on this side. Okay, I'll go to this side because you know I'm not I'm not I'm not equal. I have a little thing here, like a little like. Mike, why don't you hop like on 11. a motorcycle and fall off and hit your face? <laughs> then your insurance will cover the nose job. So I, I used to tell people to punch me in the face back in the day. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to pay for it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you punch me in the face and you break my nose, I'll get it done yeah, for free. Done for free. <laughs> Doc, this is what it used to look like. Just Photoshop it and be like, this is how it used to be, Doc. Fix it. Someone, My problem is... Do you know I, that someone once DM'd me a Photoshopped picture Oh, of I my know. face with I the know. right nose. Somebody You've once told me that if I wanted to get my nose job done, it would cost the same amount as reconstructing the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't wrong. <laughs> Joe, you do smell pretty good with that big nose. Let me tell you. It, it, it I, can, has a lot of I can smell the future. You can. You <laughs> can. <laughs> I can smell the future. You can. Mm. Look at these zucchinis, how good they're looking. Mm. You want them to break down. Like, the object here is not to have bright green, light and crisp with a bit of a texture. Uh-uh. You want them to be nutty and cooked down and mush. The more mush, the better. Because then it just, like, mixes with that oil. And it mixes with the starchiness of the pasta. And it's just mm, like the, so amazing. It's so amazing. Um... Anyway, all, all things aside, back to the question about the eating disorder, which I don't want to bring up to hurt your feelings, but I will say this. I will say we live at a time where I think we all like to say body positivity is everywhere. Body positivity is everywhere. We want to believe that. I want to believe that. But we're also like fed 
people that have plastic surgery all day long. And mm -hmm. we're fed that having this like perfect body is perfection. It's like, you can't help but that like filter your brain. And I think what helps is to A, look at life through your lens, not someone else's. Like, what does your life look like? My life, I don't have the pressure of having to look like a supermodel, so I'm not gonna work out six hours a day um, and like eat a diet of nothing. I'm gonna live my life how I wanna live it. And if you just surround yourself with people that like help you stay sane and help you achieve balance, I think is massively helpful. Look, that I, is I, I've, I've lost 200 pounds in my life so far, right? And I still, I'm still a big guy, right? And I still suffer every day. When I look at myself in the mirror, I still see a person that was 200 pounds heavier. I, I don't know why. But it's not just you. Like sometimes I look in the mirror and I go, man, this tough. influencer is my age and she does the same thing I do. And she's like so much more fit and I work out so much. And like, why can I get, like, Laura, that every day happens. when I call you, you're in a different class trying it out. I'm like, mm -hmm. what, what are you, you are crazy, girl. You are crazy. I like, found I like Pilates. my- Today I did some CrossFit. I'm like, get out of CrossFit. That was, that, oh my, oh. You guys. First of all, I found my perfect fit. It's like the best workout class with a bunch of moms. It's amazing. I love it. It's exactly what I was looking for. But before finding the gym, I had to go through some trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. One of them included a CrossFit class that I did not know was CrossFit, might I add. Had I known, I would have walked right out or I just wouldn't have gone at all. Hmm. Yeah. I just don't have words for what I was, wit what I witnessed. I like, I'm I like not here squatting you. 400 pounds. I'm not. I like calling your, your and getting your reactions after you're done. It's just like the best. I feel was, like I'm the first one to talk to you after you're done, and I feel like it's just a great story. You're like, yeah. uh, oh, hell no. I'm like, I know. It CrossFit. Was, they, at the end. Not good. To end the workout. To end the workout. Eight minutes straight of weighted burpees. No. Nope. With two jumps in the And in that's each how you one. break a hip. We're too old for that. Burpee like the seeds that you plant in the garden? Eight minutes do you know how long eight minutes is do you understand how long that was if someone said to me do another crossfit class no or i'm gonna hang you upside down by your toe and in the middle of times square i'd be like let me get a pedicure first like i'm not i'm not doing no. it no nope. not doing it i suffer from the absolute opposite i get up i look in the mirror in the morning and i go wow joe you are the epitome of a chiseled body Where'd this tell you? From? Chiseled. I didn't even work on this. It just I happened. Can't. Chiseled. I that body literally cannot. But they say when you look in the mirror, you <laughs> see yourself five times more attractive than you actually are. I think they're wrong. I think I see myself 15 times. Maybe everyone just needs Joe's confidence <laughs> about that. Joe's level is like up here, right? Joe's level is like, his level's level is like way high. I just don't care. No, <laughs> he doesn't care. I just he doesn't don't care. care. He doesn't mm. have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, quite man. literally cannot. Um... So, Gia said, "Stop supporting these people. Stop it." What people? I don't. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming I mean, us. Who are we supporting? No, no, no. Someone named Gia. I don't know. Well, Gia. I, I don't think, know. Who um, we're, well, we, and she got hidden, Brenda. Brenda. Thank Brenda, you, Brenda took care of that. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, um, I don't prison know why gangs. I get mad. That was prison all caps. Prison gangs she was do yelling. burpees for morning exercise. Prison gangs. Exactly. Do burpees. Do I look like I belong? Don't say, yes. don't answer that. Yes, yes, I think you do. Don't answer that. Just don't answer. It's fine. Mm. I'm going back to um, Instagram questions. Hang on. Hang down. Hang oh. down. Well, bro, you didn't send them to me. I would have done it for I you. know, because I figured you could focus on... Hold on, i got to put a timer on. I figured oh. you could focus on... Um, <laughs> YouTube, but not, not Chinese, Andy. What? Oh, God, excuse me. Danielle Cataldi, yes. Body dysmorphia is the worst. I deal with it every day. Being real. Mm -hmm. Every single day. I see every bit of imperfection. But the good news is it makes me work harder on myself to not stop and mm -hmm. be better. So I guess there's a plus there. This is interesting. Victoria said if you could give... If you could give you, from 12 years ago, advice, what would you say? Hmm. That's a good one. Stay awake longer, because time flies. 
Live it up. Live it up. I agree up with that. Because I feel like time does fly. Time flies. And it's not, it's never been more um, apparent until I had a child. And I one day picked up my two-year-old and I put down my seven-year-old. And I feel like, what happened in the last five mm -hmm. years? Three, like, four, what, five, and six. I don't know where they went. What happened to the last five years? I would give anything to have her small again just to relive these last seven years i don't want another child i want her small again to relive it all because it was it just it was magical melissa was, nunez says i'm shaped like, shaped like a potato and potatoes are delicious you know something <laughs> I, I i can stand by that you know something i stand by that pretty never good. made a potato i didn't like me too um i'm shaped like a pear mike and, i think i'm omni potent media really doesn't like your corner I don't think they like your corner. My corner? They, might, they said Mike is an unblossomed Andy Richer and Laura is Richter. Conan. Uh, Richter, sorry. And, and Laura is Conan O'Brien. Got to get Mike's area squared away. <laughs> What's, wrong I What's wrong with Mike's I area? It's very blue. We wanted to look blue. We wanted you to be like in the corner in the bar. We, we dimmed the lights. Show. Every time I look up in the sky, I see the blue and I start seizing out. I just, I'm, I'm like. I'm I gave like, him red one day. He was like, no, um, I can't have red. I don't I see even blood. know what he said. I don't even know what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, uh, I'm willing bean. to hear an elaboration. I'm making a that. lemon cello blueberry mar martini. Um, you can rewind, or maybe I'll put it on, on my Instagram Ow. later, the recipe. But it's very good. Uh, vodka, lemon cello, muddled blueberries, uh, fresh squeezed lemons, um, shake, done. Mike, mm. you got a comment from Danielle. What's up? Danielle, gave, she's talking right to you. Uh, Daniel Gattati, thanks. I'll see you. Yeah, King of Prussia. That's a great place. I love King of Prussia Mall. Oh, and one of the questions was, would you be going to Boston? There are other places you might go, but we're not sure yet. It's not up to me. So, big misconception is that I am choosing not to go other places because someone keeps saying to me, like, why aren't you coming to California? The meet and greets are sponsored by Williams Sonoma. We have to be invited by Williams Sonoma to have us, to host us, to have the event at their stores. If we've only been selected to be at a few of them, that's where I'm going to be. So I'm just hearing, I'm just waiting to hear um, from them if we'll be invited to any other locations. If I, if they say yes, I'm going, but it's not up to me. You know? Oh, did you have a giveaway to announce? So, oh, I have not. So, I, now that was pathetic. Did you see how close I was and I missed? Nah. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, was. Perfection. The first one, you didn't see. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't see anything happen. Laura, um, what's your favorite memory as a child, by the way? Somebody, uh, Tracy asked that. What's your favorite, what's your funniest memory you have as a child in Italy? Can I tell you the nice. only memory as a child she's ever told me? She already knows it. Yes. Rolling tires down a hill to see how far they go. What and hill, hoping the that they don't hit the people's that. cars what, in the neighborhood. Is? Okay, so you know when, picture it in your mind. <laughs> okay. You're going to my mom's house in Quarto. Mm -hmm. You know how my mom has got the gate at the bottom of the little hill? Yep, I remember that. It, picture yourself Florida. standing at the top of the hill, Yeah. like five or six kids side by side, mm -hmm. and rolling spare tires by the side of the trash can down the hill. And see I mean, which, that seems kind of fun. Whichever tire goes down the furthest, Let's and look, whichever goes that. down the furthest, you win. There was no prize, but it was like, I mean, I could say I won, and that was a big deal. Did you ever hit anybody? No, but I got hit by mopeds a lot, and it's fine. <laughs> That explains the nose. I had my arm in my sling for a long time. There are a lot of mopeds there. I sprained my I yeah. sprained. Well, I didn't sprain. I got hit in the moped, uh, and I hurt my ankle so bad that it was like this big and purple. I didn't go to the hospital. My mom was like, "You're nah. fine. Just wobble it off." You're tough. You're you know tough. what I'm saying? Yeah. You're fine. Uh, so you probably sat there with the parliament. No, Lotta. more bullet rides. First, first time I'm in, I'm in Italy, I see a, 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 it's it's a, a little moped go by with five <laughs> people on it. It's like a family of five. And Laura goes, I look at him like shocked. I'm like, what did I just see? She goes, oh, yeah, they're perfect for a family of five. They can fit. The they mom, fits great. Dad in the front, mom dad in the back, three kids the in the mom, middle. The one kid at the front of the moped like this, right? Mm -hmm. Two in the middle. And then the mom has two kids in the middle. How hard is that? Wow. It seems safe. Yeah, totally safe. Listen, That's why everybody knows like, driving in Naples is the worst place to drive. I was going to say that, Joe. Oh, yeah, my God. When I was driving worst. in Naples. Remember that when I was driving? <laughs> When I was driving up the hill to Amalfi, so so bra, so bra. So bra. Mike kept stalling out because not only is he not only is he learning to drive in Naples, but he's learning how to drive a stick shift at the same time. Oh, yes, terrible. and this lady gets really? behind him and she's angry and she's yelling Sopra. So I call Laura. I'm like, honey, what's Sopra mean? And she means up. She's trying to go up the hill. You're in her way. 
I was, I literally. The funny part is, my brother at the time. Oh, God. Was with us. And you would think that my brother would just jump in the car and take over. My brother ain't driving through Amalfi. Mm -mm. My yeah. brother does not want, like, do windy roads or like this. Uh-uh. He was like, I'll, oh. I'll help him get the and car And then the up. GPS said, driving. save seven minutes by taking an alternate oh, route. God. Oh, my God. It Didn't took me you break down... off your mirror doing that? Yeah, it I took me down that. a horse, an old horse path from like a thousand years it ago. I remember reversing along the edge of a rock wall. white knuckling. Yep. And then, and then it was like the, uh, the road kept getting narrower and narrower. And uh, at the end of this road, which you're on a cliff, yeah. the left side's a cliff, six inches away. No joke, six inches, maybe less. The wheels yeah, are starting like, to hit. I was looking at my rear view mirrors yep. on both sides. I said, fold them in because... We were so close to the side. We, we, there was like then, a mountain on one side and like ravine it was like or like brick straight wall down. on one side. Yep, on a mountain and then a ravine and then and, and then we get to the end and there's a gate and it's locked. Yeah, and you're not. And by the way, you are not saving seven minutes. No, no, <laughs> it added out. three hours because <laughs> we had to reverse hours. out of it. We were inching our way back and I'm sweating and I I think I might have cried a little bit. Mike no, was no, very I, nervous. I was crying going up that hill. That yep. hill that I got stuck on. Remember that? <laughs> I kept so, stalling out. And, no, and it was on the way to Sorrento. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. I kept stalling out and riding back into the person behind me, and she was like yelling out her window, mozzarella, mozzarella, panettone, panettone. And I'm like, what is she saying? You know? And she's just like yelling at <laughs> oh, me. Oh, you kept stalling. There was a bus. Remember, there was a bus, and, and the bus, a bus was trying to get past you. This impossible yep. And turn. then this lady jumped in your car and drove the car yeah. for you. <laughs> so the lady had her like, she was like, she looked at me, she said, automatica or manual? And I said, And then she, manual. Sees, it, she sees this manual, and she goes, America. America. And she <laughs> says, get out. And I'm like, okay, I'm out, I'm out. I get out of the car, and she like speeds it up the hill, like squeal on the tires. I'll never you guys, that. you have no idea. Save my life. You have no idea. They put buses where they don't belong there. I, they I, do. I they will, do. like, listen, I drive to New York City. I will drive through New York City. I will drive through any city. I am driving in Naples. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, no Laura's way. very good. Laura goes to New York on her own now. Since we had Mia, Laura just said, all right, I'll take this from here. I got this, boo. She does get a dent every time. It's never her fault. It's Not always my fault. the parking, it's parking garage. <laughs> like, I swear, every time, every time I, I go to Broken New York City, it costs me between up door. four and $800 every time to fix my car afterwards. Well, except the time I backed into that lady in Philly, and she was very nice about it. She said, <laughs> I you know remember what? that night. Yeah, she's like, you know what? what? I don't I care about my car. I was like, you in, don't? He walks in the restaurant all nervous. He's like walking in. He's like this. He's like, you can see on his face. He's like this. All shook it. Uh, yeah. But wait, hold on. Back to... Back to the giveaway. I'm gonna give away, I was gonna do two, but I'm gonna do four because I think that's fair. I'm gonna pick two people from the comment section of this video to send what? a signed copy of the book and two people from Instagram that submitted all of their questions for tonight's live um, to give two books. So tomorrow morning we will ship them. I am going to literally Pick at random, so don't don't get mad at me, okay? Do not get mad at me, but there's been a lot of questions on Instagram, um, lots of questions everywhere, so anyway, so I'm gonna try and do my best, okay? This is a really good question. What's the secret to never stop dreaming and shine as bright as you do? Truly inspiring. Aww, that's, that's very really sweet. Really sweet. That's very, really sweet. Very, very sweet. Yep. Um, Guys, we tapped the You uh, have to marry a stud. Us, so you, know. you have to marry a stud. I don't know if there's a secret to never stop dreaming, but I think why turn the light off? Like if you are doing something where you're in a phase of your life that feels right to you and you're enjoying the ride and you're enjoying where you are, then just keep going and build on that. Like there's no reason to dim your light, maybe because somebody else's light is shining brighter, right? We talked about this on Instagram a couple of days ago. I think something that we do to ourselves, again, it's kind of like comparing bodies. It's comparing like light, lives and comparing your homes and you're comparing your success. It's like easy for me to do. And I do it often in my own head and I snap myself out of it where it's like that person's so much more ahead in life than I am. That person's doing so many more great things than I am. And I've been doing this for 14 years. But when I say that, I diminish all of the hard work that I've done for myself. I diminish the relationships and partnerships and great things I've done. So just because someone else is doing maybe what you think is better doesn't mean that you're not. And someone else feels that way about you as you are doing so much more than they are. So I think just if you're whatever you're doing in life, if it feels authentic to you and if it feels right for you, I think there's no reason then to stop. I think you just need to 
keep at it and and be authentically you and and enjoy the ride. That's about it. Enjoy the ride, ride. I also feel like you need to. Oh, Mike, we lost some of the blue light. The, I would, I adapted the like. <laughs> I'm not doing things I don't want. I'm not going to be around people I don't want to be. I, I have very much put that in place a few years ago, and I don't regret it. It's kind of been great for me. I have not had to see people that I don't really care to see. I haven't had to put myself in a position where I say yes to something that doesn't fulfill me. I'm not going to say yes to an event that I don't want to go to because it's filled with people that aren't adding anything to my life. So it might feel cruel at first. It may feel cold. But I gotta protect my peace. You know what I've, I've also been doing? I've been trying to stay away from unauthentic people. If people aren't authentic to me. I don't know, Mike. You're still here right now. And I'm still here right now. <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> I just, I, I, if they're not authentic, I'm not, I'm not having them in my life. Sorry. Be authentic and genuine all the time. By the way, Laura gave me a choice on the shopping list. Raspberries or blueberries. I picked blueberries. There's plenty of raspberries. Did they have raspberries? Oh, yeah. There's tons of raspberries. You didn't specify. Well, you I didn't said, put a priority it list. Them. It said uh, raspberries or blueberries. I picked blueberries. Well, I, I, I basically lied there. Go back to your text Chicago message. Today. Read me I my text making... message or I'll, I'll post a picture of it. Oh, I did. I meant to say that Next you didn't Next time, have, I need I you to there. put it in an order. Like, I went to both. Give them each a score. Raspberries are a five. Blueberries are a ten. Lower numbers win. Then I'll pick you the right one. Actually, these blueberries are very sweet. It was very they looked good. Really good. Yeah. But I they was did. There they looked very good. The raspberries didn't look that great. That's why I, I was there yesterday at the one in Malika Hill, and then I stopped at the one in um, Woolwich or whatever. Woolwich, and they didn't have any strawberry, any raspberries. Yeah, we got a new shop right, and we thought it was going to fix the inventory problems at the old shop right because the old shop right's been sold out since 2017. But guess what? The new one's getting pretty sold out. You know, I, I like that. Uh, Susan North, Susan North said, "40 said, life is in a competition." I agree. I can't stand when people compete with each other. I think you need to just like not compete and, and be yourself because if you compete, you're never going to be satisfied. Ever. No. You will never be satisfied. I also feel like I don't, this is an, another thing too. I also think you need to let people shine. Example, exhibit A, okay? Um, I'll speak for myself, okay? I don't need someone to come in and steal my thunder because they want to feel special. Uh-uh. Unless you're lifting me up and you're my biggest cheerleader, I'm, I'm not gonna share my success with you because that's ridiculous. It's kind of like proposing to someone at somebody else's wedding. Like, you don't do that. You don't do that. Let the people shine. Let them shine in what they do. Cheer them on. If someone's really great at something and it's their thing, cheer them on. Just because they're being successful at that one thing doesn't mean you have to do the same thing. Jojo, B, Jojo B asks, can Laura drive a stick shift? No. She never tried, actually. She probably no. would be able to. I mean, anybody can drive a stick if they learn, but she just never tried. Oh, well, you then, my you know anger then again, maybe not. My anger know. issues? I don't know about that, JoJo. I'll never forget the first time I drove you, Laura, on 55. Fly, flying behind that person, flashing your license. Okay, so Laura them. got her driver's license very, very <laughs> old in life. This is a Papa never. Sal's daughter issue. They both. This is just Papa Sal's children in general. They wait till they're Because in when you have an Italian dad, like, well, you're not... she got her license at, like, 21 or 22. Mm -hmm. And oh, so... 21. 21. And so I told her how to drive. And I wasn't. I, I had driven in parking lots and stuff before that does and not across count. the bridge. Parking lots. That does not count. And across the bridge. Across the bridge okay. one time. Oh, and so anyway, I times. teach her how to drive. I give her this car. It was just, you know, I said, here, here's a car. Go drive this. You, you'll be fine. Now, I wasn't always with her. And Mike's with her one time when she's a new driver. And he says, Joe, you got to talk to Laura. She's going 80 miles an hour down Route 55. But she's on people's tail. She's right on their ass. Listen, and she's I'm flashing the lights on them. Where's she learned this from? I said, well, die. she's Papa Sal's daughter. Where do you think she learned it from? Papa Sal's the only person I know who ever got in a fight with an ambulance. And the, and the EMTs got out and threw beer bottles at him. Like, we I live mean, in Jersey. People will fight you for that stuff. It's a true story. I, I don't know anyone else who can get themselves in that situation. If you guys only knew. <laughs> so. I'll tell you why. I, I was scared that day for my life because I thought this guy was going to stop us and... Kill us, so I'm I just, like, sorry. But anyway, after Which we... one of us in this room has never been pulled over? I've only been pulled You've over. You've also only been life. driving for three years. <laughs> um, seventeen. Thank you very much. Seventeen. Yeah. I've known right? you that long. No. How old am I? Seventeen years. I'm thirty-seven. You're thirty-seven. Oh, so fifteen it's fifteen years. years. Sixteen. I started wow. driving at twenty-one. I know I don't look a day over twenty-one. I know, but but uh-uh. I need this men. Uh, basil. Vanilla Bean says, I have jury so I duty have. tomorrow, I which means tomorrow. luck. I, I actually had jury duty a couple weeks ago. I got my $10 check in the mail. But I, <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place, babe. I, got, uh, I, had, to, I had to recuse myself because I, I had a trip planned during that time for women in horticulture. I was hosting an event down in Florida, and 
they you let, know they something? Let me out. You think the man got mad at Mike and I for interrupting his cook session? Imagine what one does when he's being tailed. Is that the word? Tailgated. Tailgated. Oh, imagine, you, think, you think Papa Sal was bad that night? Imagine oh, what a man does when that happens, okay? Just picture him and I almost getting arrested. <laughs> is it true Jersey wishes they were Philly? No. Gina, Gina, no. come on, Gina. This is Sorry. the second Gina I mean, tonight to come in here and try to like rile us up. Laura, look at this. I'm like a perfect backdrop. I'm like, I'm like a shadow. Like, literally, like, you can Mike, use... when you see a Pennsylvania driver on the road, what do you do? Move you tell him to get out of the passing Move lane. Move out of the left lane, please. <laughs> Thank you. Move out of my way. I cannot. <laughs> the worst is when you see them in New York City. Like, I, listen. Okay. When you are driving into New York City, every man for their lives. Okay? It's That's every what it man is. for themselves. And when it was cabs, it was worse. But now... Okay? Actually, it's worse now because it's, it's all Ubers. Every man for themselves. If you stop at a stop sign for longer than 0.3 seconds, I'm sorry, go back to Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm sorry, take the subway. I did. Get I am I got sorry, corrected. take an Uber, okay? I have to get to my destination, okay? I need to also get back on the turnpike. So if you're gonna stop and every single time something is red for longer than, go. Well, now you gotta we, be careful because there's it. all kinds of cameras in New York City. They get you if you drive in the bus lane. They get we're you, if, actually, they, to, they toll you now just for driving in the city. You get, you get charged by plate now for, for um, congestion. Just by going into the city, you get charged for driving in the city. I don't know if they turned them on yet, but it's a big thing. Well, last time I drove right. in New York City, right, I was, I was going through this, uh, I stopped at a red light, right, and I wanted to make a right on red. So I did. I thought, okay, I'll make a right on red. Mm -mm. I, I, this lady pulls up to me and she goes, honey, I gotta tell you, I know you're from Jersey. You ain't making no rights on red. You nope. can't do that here. Nope. I was like, right on red was invented when there was a fuel shortage, and that's when all the states implemented it, and they're all thinking about rolling it back because it's dangerous. I appreciated her for telling me that because yeah. I didn't know, and yep. I would have got a ticket. So Let me I, very nice. I, I got an argument her. one year about right on, on one way, uh, left on left on red. A friend of mine said you can make a left on red if it's a one way. I said what? no, you can't. Where'd you learn that from? No, you can't. No. No, you can't. You definitely can't do that. She kept telling me every day. She's like, you need to make a left here, on red. Because we're wasting time at this traffic light. I used to drive a coworker of mine home when I was a co when I was an intern. I was like, uh, I ain't making no left on red. No. Not gonna happen. This nope. is in Philly. Guys, I, I, we've never tapped a bottle up before of limoncello, so look at this creaminess you that job. you're. Look at this creamy emulsion. This might not look exciting. Just oh, wait. that's good stuff. Though. Just wait. Mm. It is uh, unbelievable. It's like butter. Like butter. It's like butter that like grows, butter. On, grows on a plant in the garden. All I'm saying is if you are driving in New York City, it's a different type of driving. This is not the back roads of Lancaster. This is every <laughs> man for themselves. There's going to be construction on absolutely every intersection of every block. Okay? And then you got scaffolds in your you're, way. You're you're gonna, got all kinds you're of You're going to just need to, you're going to need to brace yourself. Okay? But also. You're going to need a good dent guy. But also, you <laughs> need to, guy. here's the thing, you need to be cautious, but also not. Because being too cautious will cause for the mayhem of people beeping. I had, when I went for the Today Show two days before New Year's Eve, which I will never do again. I love my Today Show family, but if you call me to show up on the 30th or the 29th of December, okay, I am busy. I'm busy living my life, not dying and trying to survive in six hours worth of traffic because you close off every street between Park Avenue and Upper East Side or Sometimes whatever. Sometimes the Today Show invites Laura. Laura's like Pardon me? a pinch hitter. Is that the right term? I like, don't know. But let me like at the last minute, they call her in. My, yeah, they said they call me last minute. I was like, yeah. sure, whatever. And I so, have never been. January 31st, when they called you into the Today Show, you and your sister went up. That was December. Calm I'm down. sorry, December 31st. That's Last, what was, I'm talking it, right, about. Right. Calm oh, down. It, it was bad. It was the, two days. The phone calls I got. Can you screaming. stop talking? I'm talking. I'm the victim. I'm the one that had to get the phone call. Stop interrupting. <laughs> Poor Jojo. So I'm going to tell you, Still I victim. left here, my house, at 3.30. We parked at 9.30. It's only a two-hour drive. We parked at 9.30. Most of the traffic was in the city because they closed streets and blocks because I have to get to Rockefeller Center which is where the Christmas tree is, and it's two blocks away from Times Square, which is where they set up for the ball drop, okay? So imagine trying to get to my destination when I can't get to it because the streets are closed. At this Were point, I'm like- Were you flashing them with your, with your flashers No, you couldn't. The amount of traffic was insane. So my sister is with me, 
And she's like, this is insane. Like, I need to go to the bathroom. We need to get out. I'm like, I don't know what to do. So we are, picture, two lanes, okay? We're on the street. It's two lanes. I'm on the far left lane. There's a lane to my right, and there are just, I can't move. Next thing I know, I feel boom, boom, boom. I'm like, that's my car. That's why you need a dent guy. <laughs> Excuse me. That's and it's this police officer. He's like, turn left. And my sister's going, what? And I keep saying, turn left. Can you say it how she actually down. said it? Because I doubt she said it calmly. She was like freaking that. out. I put the window down and I said, where? I want to know, know where you think I'm going to go when there's cars to my right. I don't like when they pound on your car. They did Pounding the JFK on my car. He kept saying, go right because I was in the left lane. And then he goes, well, when the traffic keeps going, you turn right. I'm like, where else am I going to go? And the Hudson River? Like, what do you want me to go? I'm pounding on the back of my car. I said, listen. But then I get the phone call. Oh, my God, I have to go pee myself. I got to go pee out the parking garage. There's a mile to away. And I was like, what? There's, there's two of you. There's two of them. They sound exactly the same. I just, I said, listen, hang up the phone. I'm not hanging it up just in case you're actually in trouble. But hang it up if you're okay <laughs> and not dying. They hung up. I know when I call and if, and if. If, if Izzy and Laura are on the same in If the I'm, room, they're in the background when you call me, you know. Yeah, when I call you and they're in the background, I can't hear anything. I just, I literally, <laughs> just, I And I'm give in up. the other room. I'm a different floor. <laughs> Listen, get louder. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. I give up. I'm just like, okay, I'll call you back later. I can't do this. <laughs> Listen, like I said, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. When it becomes a me problem, I'll let you know. But until then, um, good luck. I'm going to tongue my <laughs> pasta right in. Wait, tongue in your pasta. Like, gotta tongue the pasta. Uh -huh. Tongue the pasta, I hardly know her. I know, I don't understand that. What's tonguing the pasta mean? From the, with the tongues, from the pot oh, to tongue. the skillet. Oh, tongue. Uh, oh. What the heck did you say I said? We didn't oh. know what you were saying. I thought you said something else. I'm just gonna let that go. Listen. My bad. Listen, like I said, there were there was only one victim the day they got stuck in traffic. I was the victim, I had to hear about it. <laughs> and then finally she's like, I'm like, honey, you're, just keep driving. You'll find a place to park. I just didn't walk parking. that far. Our shoes hurt our feet. Oh my. I had to park eight blocks away. Then wear shoes that don't hurt. With a suit. Time. No, it wasn't that. It was just that there was, I didn't know where to go because I, didn't, I couldn't park. So I ended up just going and parking eight blocks away and just taking the suitcase and just. So I'm, okay, so we got a question here. How far are you from New York? Well, on a day like right now, if you left right now, hour and 35 minutes, you're at the tunnel. On a day like that, six, six hours. hours. Hey. We the, uh, remember when we drove in, in, into New York City, Joe, uh, for, uh, during COVID for pizza? We just made a mm -hmm. pizza run? Yeah, we had to go to John's and Bleecker. Yeah, the whole Bleecker. place was ours. There was nobody yeah. anywhere. We just I literally took a, 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 a flaming piece of pizza to my face mm -hmm. in the middle of the road. And we strapped, and it was one, strapped a couple in the back of the car and glorious. brought them home. Someone said you should have taken the train. I do not no, have the train. I don't no, do I don't like trains either. I drive in. And it really, no. for us, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to take I have train. to go to a train station. You still got to drive to the train station. Yeah. Which is not close, unfortunately. Leave my car, which I love my car. I drive in New York a lot for work, too, and I got to tell you, like, it's just better to drive in. For I, us, I, I, for where we're located, it, it is, because you're still driving, you know, 50 miles to get to the train. It's just we need some easier. better public transportation around here. Like, we're if I was really in Philly, I'd take the Acela. Done deal. Yeah, I, yeah. I would totally take the Acela if I lived in Philly. But, again, it's just not convenient from where, for where we live, unfortunately. It's not. It's not. Okay. Okay. I don't mind driving here, Phil. It's nice. I, I like I like the the idea of going through the Holland Tunnel. I'm know. used to it. I like all the people yelling at me and smacking my yeah. car. It's nice. Yeah, car needs that to be was smacked so... around a little bit sometimes. And the rats running around your car when you're mm -hmm. looking outside. And the that smell. was really enraging when he just hit my car. They I'm did like... it to me at JFK when I was picking up your uncle, um, no, your your aunt and your cousin the one time. Yeah. And like there was no reason for it. He just smacked my car. I'm not even doing. I'm just driving like everybody else. Don't smack the car. Wait, why would you just look how creep? Like look at this. See what happens? I want, I'm, I'm out of alcohol, so I'm just hanging out. So, I know. want the three of you to taste this on camera because looking at it does not do justice to how good this is. And I want reactions to how good it is because it's that good. Where's she? She's gone. There we go, Mike. Mike, you're on. We don't uh, have Daisy's, how are the peppers in the oven? Are the peppers in the oven? Yes. Almost done. See, mm. timer just went off. Nice call. Great timing. Oh, look at that timer. Look at that, JD. Uh, Gina, says, do we live in South Jersey? Yes, South Jersey. The land Jersey. of milk and honey. We are still in a part of New Jersey where it is all farmland. Yep. Well, at least until they start putting in the warehouses. But yeah, we're they, still they in... Love, yeah. We are a warehouse waypoint here in South Jersey, and it's right. unfortunate because they're starting to build more warehouses, and there's... I don't know I don't know what the reason is, but it's not money. fun. That's the reason. Money. 
Money, the corrupt mayors, all that stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Corruption. Yep. Everywhere. Okay, try this. So, Laura, recap on what we're making here. By okay, me. we made... I'm coming over, I'm coming over. Okay, a spaghetti al arenano, and we made a sweet and sour chicken, both recipes in my my new book. Oh, oh thank you, darling. This and looks very... You gotta try that. Steamy, I like it. I uh, like both recipes available in okay. my new book, and... Uh, wow. There's that also smells. a recipe for limoncello in my new book, and you can make that, and you should make that. I'm actually gonna make mine. Um in the early spring so that it can steep and be ready for summer. Gina V, have you been putting the pickle I was going to read have. it. The most important yeah. question of the night. Great wings. I don't know. I don't know. Am I looking forward to the spring? Does a Pope have a balcony? Wow. The answer is yes. <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's insane. It's Literally insane. And so this is in the book, right? Yes. Did I ask if it's in the book? Uh, it's know. in the book, right? Yes, it's in the book. Did I ask if it's in the book? Oh, my cheese. You're killing me. It's in the book. It's in the book. Get Both the recipes book. are in the book. Did I, did I tell you to get the book? Yeah, get the book. Mm. I've been trying to convince Mike lately that he needs to get some medication for his What's early that? onset dementia. I don't have much. He told me the other day, he's like, oh, I Googled all the symptoms of early onset dementia, but I don't understand why all the links were purple on Google results. And I said, Mike, think that one through. Joe, let me tell you. When you call me four times and you tell me the same story all four times, there's, yeah. one of us has dementia, not, and that's not me. <laughs> Laura, am I right? I'm not in the last In the last week, Mike forgot where he used to live. He <laughs> forgot what day people checked into his Airbnb. And he for, I know you're gonna try and diagnose me with something right now. And he and he forgot um, something else that was super important, but I forget what it was. But the point is, I'm not the one with the <laughs> he dementia. Forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That oh, Joe, it's okay. Funny. Joe, when you get old and you can't wave your butt, I'll hop you. He really will. You better get ready. I'm not, but he will. I'll have him. I'll play him in a home so fast. I'm running to Vegas and we'll just, you know. Like I just ran to put him in a home right now. I'm already in a home. I'm in a nut, a nut house is where I'm at. You should hear in the mornings. Last night, last night, Laura's sister goes out wherever she goes. 12.30, she comes home. 12.15, whatever, she comes home. I come down this morning to go fight off a possum trying to get in the chicken pen at 6 o'clock in the morning. Now I'm out there in a robe and, and bedroom slippers, which is a real sight. Okay? Wow, that's, that's kind of I'm out there spraying this possum with water, trying to get rid of it. And so he's all angry, ah, hissing at me and whatnot. And I come back, well, actually, I come downstairs to go deal with the possum. And what do I see? The door in the laundry room to the garage, wide open, just flapping around, just wide <laughs> open. So I go on our family text thread, the brothel, and I say, hey, guys, you need to shut the door between the garage and the laundry room. Like, don't just slam it and hope for the best. You got to actually shut it. And then, uh, and then I'm laying in bed this morning. Now, Laura gets up before me, and usually Isabella gets up before me because she was working from home on Friday. And all I hear is, you need to shut the damn door in the garage. Every time you come in, I get tired of telling you about it. <laughs> between, between her I'm, yelling at her about the door. at 6 o'clock. My uncle FaceTiming me at 7.30. Listen, I had not had enough caffeine in the stream of my body to deal with both of them. And then she does this. I don't know how one... <laughs> has the level of energy that she does. Okay, when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to be spoken to for a solid hour and 15 minutes. Okay, wow. this is That's why a I get up. Time. But this is why I, I get, get up. up. I'm like, let's go. Oh, I know. You put music on. Ooh. This is why I got up at 6 15 cool. because I need time, like quiet. Okay, bad enough. I had to pee at four o'clock. I didn't sleep at all last night. She comes downstairs. Okay, and this is what she does every mm. Friday because she works from home. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, look. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. what? She goes, like, why? Or she goes, why the dance? Like, you, if I, okay, so the, we have this thing where Laura doesn't let me put my Coke Zeros in the fridge because they take up too much room. So I got I to gotta keep my Coke Zero stash in my office. I like Coke Zero. Judge me. I don't care. I keep I like my Coke Zero, Zero in my office. But, bottles of but there's two people in this house who are addicted to Coke Zero. It's me and Isabella. So every now and then she's like, Joe, can I have me. Coke Zero? So now the new thing is you just got to go find it. It's somewhere in my office because I can't keep it out in the open. I put it in like a little uh, Ottoman thing. I put it in the garage. And so when she says, can I have a Coke Zero? And she's waiting for an answer. Laura, what does she do when she waits for the answer? She goes. She just gets into like an animation stance for <laughs> no reason. Goes, like, favorite, what is this? My favorite is when she goes, um, yeah, yeah. Choose your character. No, she goes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah wait. It's like in a video game when you're supposed to choose she the character. Poked. She, she just goes, yeah, yeah, wait, watch this. <laughs> 
Like, what are we watching? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my God, today, today, today. This is what she was doing to me. I hadn't even put the kid on the bus yet. That's how early it was. So she's going, watch, watch this, watch this. It, it took me a while to learn it, but watch, watch me. And I'm going, why? She goes, I mean, I, looking backwards. I don't, I'm like, I don't, what am I, I don't, looking at? I don't know very many twins. What am I looking at? But based at? on the twins that I know, which is basically just them, I do wonder if it's one brain <laughs> and it splits table. into two. This is ripping on Family Friday. <laughs> It we is. Do. It is. It's what we do. It's step by step. Day Wait, by let day. me see if I can get her down here. It's it's great. She's random random move. I just I um, I've asked them for that for like fifteen years. Did, did you guys share the same brain and just get half of one? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to diagnose the situation. It's it's tough. Mm. It's tough. That's not how it works. I have a, I actually have a doctor here in the house. She says that's not how it works. Wait, do we have a baguette for dinner tonight or no? Does the Pope have a balcony? Oh, God, I love a good baguette. Man. And by the way, we all love thing. Isabella. I love oh, Isabella she's like down. she's my own sister. She's I don't, the first I'm not, I'm just, person to I'm make I'm just fun breaking of stones. Are you kidding me? Yep. Um, and by the way, I, I want to say in public, thank you for moving this for me today because it was very important for me to be here. I, I, was, I was very happy. Yes. So okay, you. here she comes. Okay. okay. Here we go. Oh, God. Wait, please. I was so explaining to them the thing that you do to me. All day long. Okay. What you do? Yeah, yeah. Wait, watch. Yeah, yeah. Do it, please. Okay, fine. This is what she does all day. I can't. She'll come in, and I'm busy. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Let me get the character. Okay. So I walk in. And I'm just like, yeah. I gotta say something really important. It's really, really important. Guy, yeah, I can't. <laughs> what do you do when you ask for a Coke Zero and you're waiting wait, for the answer? Wait. Well, this morning, what was the thing you were doing walking back? <laughs> I, was, I was like. Oh, like, this is like the you most can't see your character. The <laughs> most, the <laughs> most. <laughs> I was explaining how you have insane energy when your eyes open. Yeah. And like normal people, except for this morning, my grandma was like, "I want to see Isabella," and I'm like, well, "She's leaving." Is that what all down. that screaming was about? I thought the screaming was about the door with the possum. Oh, no. both. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, I, she was like, she was like, okay. So she comes downstairs, and my nonna goes, "Beautiful, Isabella." She and goes, this is me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like that, because I like, I can't take life like serious. So my, I just Uncle Tony goes, she's going out at night. Where's she going? She go out. I was like, absolutely not. Good, we were out good, yesterday. What a good girl. What a good girl. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's that's it. it. <laughs> yeah, because I'll so she'll that's be it. like, see, because what's it called? Like you'll just be sitting there. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. Like when you point, something really bad happens. You're like dad. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and then I go. <laughs> You know, uh, you're like the reverse Papa Sal. Mia does that. Mia does I don't that. Now Mia does it because I do it. But what else do I do when I'm waiting for a Diet Coke or something? I'm always like, he just said that. Yeah, she'll ask the question. If I don't answer right away, she gets into that animation stance. Like you're picking your character on a video game. She just sits Choose there and your goes character. in a circle. So my sister's on a derby team, okay? And they had a game this past weekend, and we went to the game. Support local roller derby. And All the teams are broke. We need the support. Support. Anyway. Please. So we go to the game. Her and her friends on the team are like the sweetest. They're so good to Mia. Mia thinks she's one of them. Mia Lou. She has a jersey and everything. Her derby name is the Chihuahua because she's like a short and small and freaks out a lot. So my sister was the ref. So she wasn't like playing the game. So she was like the referee, right? If anybody's experience in derby, we play the U-Stars rule set. Okay, so I don't know what that means, yeah. okay? Okay. All I know is that she was a referee. So she, we've seen her games before where she was playing, but this time she wasn't playing. And Mia goes, when we left, Mia goes, Mommy, Izzy did so good tonight. And I was like... I learned nothing. And I, look, and I said to her, but you know she didn't play. She was just a referee. She goes, and that's a very important role, which she did very well. I'm like... I missed almost all the penalties. It was my first time refing. Excellent but, point. Oh, speaking of Chihuahua. There she is oh, with her sorry, stitch I outfit. I ran down here without telling you. I literally ran downstairs hey, without baby. telling her. And her stitch outfit. It's my mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> Ready, set. <laughs> Ready, set. <laughs> All right, we ready to wrap up? And go upstairs. Cool, girl. Do you want to come upstairs with me? All right, go back Please. up. I'm going to wrap up. So now you saw the stand. Watch your feet. Oh, please. Oh, please. She said to me, I'm hanging out with Izzy this week, uh, this weekend, because when I'll be in on my signing, she goes, she's like my sister aunt. That's a sister. I could be a mom. And I was like, I mean, accurate. Anyway, All right, so that is 
You guys got to see the dance moves. You see, I don't lie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really important. Watch this. All day, all, all day. In the moment her eyes open, I want to be like, and she went to bed like late. I, I tell you what, I don't have a process, a boot up process. I wake up and I'm turn, like it's on. It's like the machine is, the, 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 the processors are on. Laura does need a two hour, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. I need an hour. It's like the old computer where it's like, we found the sound card and they're going to do a memory test. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> okay. My memory is epic. It's like the old 386 Yours? booting up Windows 95. Oh, error message. Yours? Not Coffee's so much. not good enough today. I wake um, up and it's like Starbucks right away. Boom, out the door. We are going to pick a couple of people to gift the book to, okay? I'm going to pick, Mike, you're going to have to pick at random. I'm going to just, Me? yeah, I'm going to scroll and, and hit something. Okay. You're going to need to jot these down because you've got to contact them. I'm no, watching. because I'm going to tell you who you are, and then you're going to come to my Instagram, and I know who you are. Don't be trying to be trifling. Yep. Oh, Laura gave you the look. You know what I'm saying? She gave you the look. And you're going to come and give me your information. <sighs> what okay. happened to the chicken? Somebody wants to know what happened to the chicken. Where's the chicken at? Oh, it's right here. Where's the other stuff? The peppers or whatever. The chicken's right it's there. It's in there. Did we finish everything? Yeah. yeah. It's done. Well, I wasn't done. paying attention. Okay. All right. You want me to tell you to stop, or do you want me to just stop and pick? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick one okay, at just, random. Okay. Look at me and then do it. Ready? Okay. Scroll. 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 Stop. Like we're all looking. Make the Mike. comment good. Uh, none of them are good. All of them are just LOL Joe. Oh. <laughs> LOL Joe. Yeah, just keep scrolling. That's and... a good one. Okay. What about that? Uh, Melissa Gardella, your sister Melissa sounds like Gardella. all my kids. Melissa Gardella, you, my friend, are the winner of an autographed copy of my new book. All right. Come to my IG. Give me your deets. Melissa Gardella, her IG is at M R S V I T A L E, Mrs. Vitale. Again, you that's M R S V I T A L E. Me, me. Yeah. Pick one? Now you pick one. Oh God, this is. I gotta pick two more from Instagram. This someone. is a lot this of pressure. Is I'm feeling. There's a lot of people saying me right now, trying to get oh, in the comments. Scroll to the bottom, Mike. Scroll to the bottom. I'm trying. I'm, you know, I'll do it on my phone. Yours is moving too fast. I'm gonna just go. Put They're gonna be the same, Mike. They're gonna be the same. Wait, you gotta do this. Remember, Mike, when you used to play that game? Lila Chukub. Lila L I L A Chukub. Laura, you inspired me to cook for my family. Boom. Lil. I don't know how to say your name. Lila Chikub. Lila Chikub, come to my Instagram at Mrs. Vitale. Give me your information. I will get these two books sent out right away. So very Melissa. Random. Melissa was the first one. Don't worry, um, guys. It's very random. I hate picking things because I don't want to people down. Hard. It's very hard. It's so hard. I hate so hard. people down because I want to give it to everybody. I know. I love Mike. you all. Whoa, that's a lot of comments. Mike, you should have done the Who Wants to Flush sound. Melissa Gardella right. and, and Lila. What was it? Bum, 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 bum. Lila something. If she didn't, okay, so if she didn't, if, if none of them, if one of them doesn't do it, or if one of them doesn't come on, then we got to pick somebody else. Okay. So you want to pick an author? Oh, yes. Please students? go over to her Instagram now. Go like, to my Instagram right now. now. So, we can, so we can make sure we get the info. Oh, Melissa said pick someone else. I'll see you on Wednesday on Columbus Circle. What a great person you are. What a great wow, person. Wow, Melissa is so nice. What okay. a great person. All right, she gets a big hug for that. She's going to get a huge freaking hug. I'm going to squeeze okay. you so hard. That's so nice. That's so nice. Squeeze you so hard. <laughs> okay, let me pick another one then. All right. You, you, that's, that's your pick, by the way. I, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. This is so hard. I know. You don't let people down because you love okay. everybody. Okay. Uh, gosh. I can't. Why is it so small? Uh, and it's. There's so many comments rolling in so fast. Mine's open all the way. You want to just Sounds like just user line? error to okay. me. Okay. Oh. Look. I know you click one. No, look. look how fast it's going. Okay. Do you want to just like push down uh, the button? Samantha Berry. Samantha Berry. Samantha Berry. Okay. Look how fast Woo. we're going. Look how fast the comments are going. I can't keep up. I, I can't do it. Guys, that, 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 just says you, that just says you're loved. So That's Samantha Berry, you are the winner. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's so many, I can't even keep up. Mm. Love y'all. And remember Leela? Remember Leela? What was her last name? Uh, I don't know. If you miss your name, you got to just... Uh... Come to my Instagram right now so that I can see you. And now, speaking of Instagram, we're going to pick two comments from the Instagram. Help me pick two. Oh, Hold on. Oh, let, me re let me refresh. This is pressure. I have so much pressure right now. I know. I'm more scared Mike. about... I was more scared about missing my flight today, but now, now it's pressure with this. I know. Um. Okay. Nobody says anything about me in there, so I'll just pick you know. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I not mention oh. about that one. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm gonna message her. Mike is so hot. You didn't see that one. Mike is so hot. I didn't see that. 
Sorry. But thank you. I don't Remember, feel. I mean, okay. I'm I'm heat hot right now, but not. Okay, <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> and woo, Nelly. This is so small. Oh, God. you get another one? Yeah, two from Instagram, two oh, from YouTube. That's nice. Yeah, I'm trying to give everybody like a fair, you know, and that one. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, Navdeep nine underscore K. Navdeep nine underscore K. Okay. There we go. Okay. People are thinking it's a uh, it's a scam. I know. Watching. They're gonna be like, you won what? And whenever somebody says you won, you. I uh, know. They're like, what did I win? Remember that one time somebody poses you on Facebook and was messaging me? Oh, and didn't I get these I all you? the time. Uh, just so anybody uh, watching. If you're mm -hmm. dating somebody who looks exactly like Laura on the internet, it's not Laura. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was. I, I, I was, I was, I, but but no, you told me that I won a laptop. Oh yeah. Oh oh. And you oh. had to send well, me. Well, like... we've gone to great lengths to try to get to these people who try to scam people. Mike has gone in. I told Mike. I said, listen, they're trying to scam you out of two thousand dollars. Mike, contact mm -hmm. them and tell them if they pay for your Uber to get to the bank, that you'll get them the two thousand dollars. So, I, so Mike's like, I need $27 so I can go to the Uber. And they almost paid him the $27. Yeah, so he could, the road, yeah. my Venmo, but it was a fake like, Laura. Oh, that might be not good. Yeah, you know, we almost got the fake Laura to pay up. Yeah, <laughs> fake Laura almost paid me. I know. Oh, almost. we've had, but we've, the problem Samantha with that. Samantha Berry. Yay, she contacted me. Woohoo! That's quick. Yeah, Samantha it's my Barry. girl. Quick, quick I'll contact. get it out tomorrow. Quick Jojo contact. has uh, lots of books to send out tomorrow morning. I'll be taking care of it. Yes, Very he nice. will. Very nice. Okay, now I'm waiting for the other person to message me. I'm going to post the blueberry lemon cello martini on my Instagram myself, so you have that for you. Jennifer said in is the chat typing. They don't like raspberries because they're furry. They are, they oh, are furry. Okay. They are furry. It's okay, though. You know, I, I'm a little furry, like, on my chin, but, you know, it's, that doesn't mean I'm bad. Not at all. Okay, we're going to sign off. It's 8.30. My back hurts yes, so bad. I have a pinch hurts, nerve on my back. I'm walking through airports all day. My issue is my back has been killing me for days. I, mean, I need but some baguettes in my life. I also need some I got a chabot, chicken. that nice oh, crust. Oh, God. Oh, a little brown. My back hurts. Can you not have me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So does, I, I, I need to know, though, does everybody want the Papa Sal music? Yes, please. Or the jazz music? Ready? I'm going to do it. Papa Sal. Ready? I got my thing. Let me all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So right, when I go, when like I go to close finale. it out. This is like fireworks, the grand finale. Buy my book comes out Tuesday. You buy my it. book. It's Please buy my it book. It really is. I need amazing. them to publish my book. I'll see you this week, hopefully, when I when we go around. Yeah, it's like it's like, you know, going Love around tour, going around country on tour. It's you know what I'm cool. saying? It's gonna be cool. You know what I'm saying? Get a lot of flights, get a lot of miles. Sunny and share. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's a great show. Love you all. Love you.